Did you know that the Nabawi Mosque was the first place to be electrified on the Arabian Peninsula? Even the Ottoman Sultan's palace in Istanbul didn't have electricity. When the Ottoman dynasty introduced the marvel of electricity to the Arabian Peninsula, they chose the Nabawi Mosque as the pioneer. Imagine the Sultan's own palace in Istanbul was still basking in the glow of oil lamps, while the Nabawi Mosque was already illuminated with electric light. So, the Nabawi Mosque not only leads in spiritual light but also in electrical light. Size does matter when it comes to the Nabawi Mosque. It's the second largest mosque in the world. Towering over the city of Medina, it spans a staggering 235,000 square meters. The only mosque that surpasses it in size is the Grand Mosque in Mecca. But the Nabawi Mosque size isn't just impressive, it's significant. The mosque's area now covers almost the entire old city of Medina. That's right, the mosque is about 100 times the size of the original building. This is a testament to the many expansions carried out throughout history. To put it into perspective, the Yanat al-Baqi Cemetery, which used to be on the outskirts of Medina, now lies within the mosque complex. Such massive growth and development truly highlight the mosque's importance in the Islamic world. Imagine, the entire old city of Medina, now encompassed by this magnificent mosque. The history of the Nabawi Mosque is not without trials. It once experienced a large fire. This devastating event saw the mosque's roof, pulpit and even the hallowed walls of the Prophet Muhammad's tomb engulfed in flames, a sight that was as heartbreaking as it was transformative. Yet, through this fiery trial, the Nabawi Mosque emerged not as a symbol of destruction, but of resilience, a beacon of faith, undeterred by the ravages of time and calamity. Despite the devastation, the mosque stood resilient, a testament to its enduring significance. When you think of the Nabawi Mosque, you might picture its iconic green dome, but did you know it actually has two domes? Yes, that's right. Apart from the emerald dome that we see from the outside, there is also another dome on the inside. This inner dome houses the tomb of the Prophet Muhammad, a place of profound reverence and devotion. Now imagine this. For over 650 years, the Nabawi Mosque did not have a dome over the Prophet's tomb at all. The dome that we see today, the first one ever constructed, was built in the year 1279 by the Mamluk dynasty. This architectural feature was not part of the original design but was added later to commemorate the Prophet's resting place. So there you have it, two domes, each with their own unique history and purpose. The Nabawi Mosque is not just a place of prayer, it's a final resting place for the Prophet Muhammad and two of his companions. Here, within the serene confines of this sacred space, lie three of Islam's most revered figures. The Prophet Muhammad, whose teachings form the bedrock of the Islamic faith, finds eternal rest here, alongside his trusted companions, Abu Bakr Ash Shadiq and Umar bin Khattab. Their graves, nestled within the mosque's complex, serve as a poignant reminder of their indelible contribution to the Islamic legacy. Adjacent to these hallowed graves, a mystery unfolds. An empty grave lies in quiet repose, its purpose and intended occupant shrouded in enigma. This intriguing feature of the mosque complex invite speculation and curiosity, adding yet another layer to the rich tapestry of stories woven into the fabric of the Nabawi Mosque. Yet the mosque offers more than just a journey through history. It also provides a glimpse of paradise, right here on earth. This comes in the form of Raudha, a much cherished spot within the mosque. Often referred to as the Garden of Paradise on Earth, Raudha is a place of profound tranquility and divine connection. It is believed that prayers offered here hold the same merit as those made in heaven itself. This belief draws countless believers to Raudha, each seeking a moment of celestial communion, a taste of paradise amidst the earthly realm. The Nabawi Mosque, therefore, is more than a monumental structure or a place of worship. It's an embodiment of the Islamic faith, a living testament to its history, and a beacon of spiritual fulfillment. It is a place where the earthly and the divine intersect, where history reverberates through the ages, and where believers can find a slice of paradise. From final resting places to a piece of paradise on earth, the Nabawi Mosque truly is a place of spiritual richness and historical depth.